Hello, BC Calculus students. This is Mr. Johnson, and this is section 3.3, and this is on derivatives of trig functions, and this is actually a really short section. So we're just going to walk through the six main trig function derivatives, and then just three short examples. Uh, you all should know these first three really well because you use them a lot in AB calculus. The next three are uh, definitely not as common in um, certainly AB calculus, um, but also in BC calculus. This first one is negative cotangent of x, cosecant of x. The, uh, the fifth one on the list here, secant of x, the derivative is secant x tangent of x. That one I have seen on the exam more so than the other two sort of uncommon ones. So I would say that you know, for sure the first three on the list are really common. This fifth one here, um, I've seen more than, than, than uh, the uh, last two, but then these, la these last two here um, are, are really, these two right here are really uncommon um, derivatives on the test. So I wouldn't worry too much about those, but um, certainly try to commit these to memory and be able to utilize them on the exam. Here's our first example. We're looking at the definition of a derivative, which we've looked at a number of times now uh, in chapter two, but also here in, in uh, chapter three already. So we have our de definition using h, which is f prime of x. So our goal here is to identify a function f of x, which in this case is sine of x. Uh, then we're gonna look at what the x value that we're using is. Um, you can look at the comparison to the general definition to the limit in the problem, and it's gonna be x equal to pi over three. So then our goal here is to take the derivative of sine of x, which is cosine of x, and then we're going to evaluate that derivative at pi over 3. And cosine of pi over 3 is 1 half. So we get letter B. Okay, on to example number 2. So here we have the chain rule. Um, one of the things that you can do that might help with a problem like this is that the sine cubed is really maybe better written like this. So let's see, I'll write it like that. So that's really what we're dealing with is sine cubed. It's gonna be um, on, on the outside function. So there's actually three functions here. We have that cubic function on the outside, we have sine, and then on the inside we have that x squared. So our first layer, our first derivative is gonna be the power rule where we bring the three down and then we reduce that power by one. So we have three times sine squared of x squared. Then we're gonna multiply by the derivative of sine, which is gonna be cosine of x squared, and then multiply by the derivative of x squared, which is gonna be two x. So if we just multiply the three and the two x, we get option E um, based on, again, that three, kind of that three part chain rule. Okay, let's move on to the next page and do the last example. So here's example three. We do, again, have the definition of a derivative you will all be experts on that. So um, it says for all values of h very close to zero. Okay, well that just means the limit as h goes to zero of tangent of x plus h minus tangent of x divided by h um, is equal to what? Well, really what this is asking for is the derivative of tangent, which we know is secant squared of x. So again, from this information, we are pulling out that the derivative is excuse me, the function is tangent of x. And in this case, um, it's just at a generic x value. So all we're trying to figure out is what is that derivative of tangent. Um, and that's going to be letter or option E. So there you go. That's section 3.3. Thanks.